Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues with a conversation about the 2017 World Championships taking place in Paris, France. Joining us now from the offices in uh, in San Marino, California, is the man, the myth, the legend. He is Wayne Eric Boyd. Wayne, good morning. How are you? Scott, as I like to say, if I got any better, I'd have to be two people. You certainly should. Now, day one, Greco in the books. Day two, wrestling as we speak. Headlining the U.S. team for freestyle, however, is where I really want to go with you today, Wayne. And we uh, are going to remind everybody that they can buy the week of broadcasting from from Paris, France, on our friends at trackwrestling.com. $9.99 will get you the purchase and uh, get you all the information, the stories, the coverage, and Shane Sparks and Andy Hamilton along the way. Uh, Wayne, what are your thoughts about this year's assemblage of Team USA? It seems there's a lot of tight Mercury presence there. Well, there's no doubt about it. We're very proud of this team. We helped build it. We worked hard in the first round of the world team trials. We won all weight classes, Titan Mercury guys. Dake then, um, I think he was tired after seven matches. Uh, although Burroughs is a great champion, he proved once again he, he's, he's still serious about this game. And then, of course, Molinero just couldn't keep up with the train. The train is amazing. I'm I'm really excited for this young man. He's uh, he's like playing the uh, John Smith card. Here he is, a junior going into his senior year, wrestling in a world championship. Very proud of him. But let's go to the bottom. Let's talk about our boy Gilman from Iowa. Unbelievable performance. I mean, he had nothing but competition. Graf was there, and nobody saw Gilman coming except Tom and Terry Brands. And they plowed him through there, and he had one of the best tournaments I've ever seen a wrestler have. Now, he did have a problem with Graf. He did win in overtime on a a criteria, but uh, gosh, he wrestled well. And I think he's going to give the Europeans and the great wrestlers of the world something to think about. He's got a different style. He's new. He's fresh. They've never seen him before. So look to him to surprise some people. Uh, will he get a medal? I'm not sure, but he's capable of it. So uh, very exciting. So from 57, we go to 61, and that young man, Logan Steber. Defending world champion, he's got everything to gain, and he's got everything to lose. He's a fighter. He's got an Olympic champ up from 57 kilos from uh, Georgia in his weight. Uh, but he can beat that guy. Uh, Kinsha Shabelli. He can beat him. There's some other guys there that are really strong, like Logan is. He's going to have a tough road, but he can win. So looking for a medal at 61. From 61, we go to 65, Wayne, and there is Zane Rutherford. They call him the Cowboy. The Nittany Lion Wrestling Club is awfully proud of this young man. Give him the same chance as I give Gilman with a little more because he's got a gas tank that's unbelievable. And the Russians and even the Iranians are not going to be used to this kind of gas tank. He's got a gas tank like nobody else in the world. I see him meddling. I see him being the big surprise. If he wins it, it'll be off the charts. Forget about it. Unbelievable. He's got a great coach, Kale Sanderson. I know he'll be there. Casey Cunningham, who's really is behind Cale Sanderson all the time. We don't hear much about him, but he's a big part of that program. He's a great guy. He's a great coach. And him and Cale Sanderson, as we've seen on the collegiate level, they just match up so well, and they work together so well. And they got a great facility, and they're making history. Those guys are something else to deal with. I see a day where the Nittany Lion Wrestling Club will face off with Titan Mercury Wrestling Club, and it'll be an incredible dual meet. We're talking with Wayne Eric Boyd. This portion of our program and this broadcast brought to you in part by Titan Mercury Wrestling Club. Look for them online at tmwc1.com. All the news from Johnny Rugan is, uh, and Ruggiano, I should say, as he comes to you uh, from Paris, France, as his coverage continues. So t- check out trackwrestling.com, all right? Let's go to 70 Kilos. James Green, that young man from Lincoln, Nebraska, and also a Titan Mercury Wrestling Club team member. 
took third in the world's uh, last world championship in Vegas. Looked very good. I've never seen a kid that's more physically ready to win. What a body. Got a great mind. He's got good coaching out at Nebraska. Works out with Burroughs every day. Uh, I look to him to improve on his bronze medal, but he's got to mentally stay in the game. Every once in a while, he falls off mentally. Somebody's got to be right there, and I hope and I hope it's Manning in his ear saying, "Hey, pump it up, pump it up, keep it going, keep it going. Don't get down on yourself. You got to work these guys through these matches. I don't care how great they are. You got to be in that corner. You got to make sure they're right." The instant they walk on that mat, they have to be so focused and so ready to win. And that comes a lot from who's touch him, touching them at that time. We've got uh, Royce Alger over there. He's one of the best corner guys in the world. He doesn't end up in the corner for those matches. But he's right next to him, right before they go to the coach and then to the corner. And Titan Mercury has discovered how to prepare people. That's how we became the World Clubs Cup champion. So James Green... Gets a medal and just might win it. 74 kilos. His teammate, Jordan Burroughs, also out of Lincoln. And, of course, a world champ and Olympic gold medalist as well. What are your thoughts on Jordan Burroughs? A uh, big test for him. Very, very big test. He comes off 2016 having maybe the worst tournament of his life at the Olympic Games. I think the Europeans now kind of know he's vulnerable. Uh, he's like a wounded cat. But in the trials, he showed that he's still Jordan Burroughs. He still knows how to win. He's still fast. He's still technically perfect. Uh, he can win. He can come back and restate that he's the world champion. And if he doesn't win, then he better look out because we got a guy here in America that I feel could be a world champion this weekend had he made the team, and that's Kyle Dake. I'm a big Jordan Burroughs fa uh, fan. But you know Kyle Dake's Titan Mercury, and I want to see him get on the world stage because he's one of the greatest wrestlers America ever produced. And he hasn't had a chance to prove it because, unfortunately, he happens to be in the weight class with Jordan Burroughs. But we're looking for a change next year. Ten weights? Wow. What if we get Taylor and Dake on the team with Burroughs and Cox? America is on a roll. We're going to win this thing. We're going to go forward. And we're going to be the greatest nation ever in the history of the world. We're going to top Russia with being able to win five, six, seven, eight world championships in a row and the Olympic title for the team. So Burroughs is a big part of that. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm looking to him bring himself back to the podium, number one. Friday and Saturday, men's freestyle action gets underway. 57, 61, 86, and 125 will be contested on Friday the 25th. And then Saturday the 26th, it'll be 65 kilos, 70, 74, and 97. It's going to be an outstanding opportunity. You don't want to miss any of it at trackwrestling.com. We're talking with uh, Wayne Boyd, and we're talking about uh, the weights, breaking down the weights. 86 kilos is up next. There sits Jaden Cox. And before we talk about Cox, I, I want to say Track's doing an incredible job. The coverage is very clear. They're on it. They've got the right camera people there. They've got the right angles, and you get to watch every second of every match. And guess what? If the match is at 2 o'clock, Paris time in the morning or some dumb time that you're not available or, or you're at work, you just go to your computer, you, you buy the 999 uh, program, uh, and you've got that, and you can watch it Monday if you want. Or you can say Sunday, I'm going to save it till Sunday, and you don't have to do anything. It'll be there. Get up Sunday, you can watch the entire thing in its entirety like you're at a dual meet. And I think the encouraging thing is, we're not going to have guys falling away in the first match. We aren't going to be losing guys, and America's not in the championship. You're going to see Americans in the semifinals and the finals and the quarterfinals. This is one of the greatest buys you can ever get, and these guys are covering it well. So big points to trackwrestling.com. We totally support them here at Titan Mercury Wrestling Club, and we, we respect support the the success of the sport we've got to get the fan base to get behind these world championships because the more buys we get the more nbc is likely to say hey we want to start 
covering wrestling with Scott Casper as the anchor on NBC TV. Uh, there's a chance we could one day even see our own wrestling station like the Golf Channel. So if we buy into this, the fans, the future is so bright. But if the fans let us down and they don't buy this $9.99 purchase, it only tells the bigger media outlets that we have no audience and nothing could be further than the truth. There's 10 million living people in America that wrestling has touched. There's a million people that are hungry for it. And those people need to buy this program today, tomorrow, be in line for Friday and watch some of the greatest American accomplishments you've seen since way back in 1995. We're talking about that we are talking with Wayne Eric Boyd. Jaden Cox is on the uh, docket. 86 kilos, Wayne. You know, you could have just called me and turned the camera on and said, Wayne, go for 20. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't do it without you, Scott Casper. You're really a big part of wrestling. And your voice is, is, is when I think of wrestling on TV or radio, I hear your voice. Thank and you. you've done a great over the years and you guys deserve so much credit and you deserve a chance at the big time because you are big time appreciate that Wayne. Jaden cox out of columbia missouri has proven that he can dance on the big stage already a bronze medalist what are your thoughts on Jaden cox part of team type mercury he beat he beat another great wrestler david taylor at the uh, world team trials he didn't do it easily taylor destroyed him in the first match and I thought that was pretty much the sign that, you know, Cox had taken some time off, was thinking about playing football, was doing all his celebrity stuff. And, uh, you know, a lot like when you when you have uh, success, a lot of other opportunities start to show up. So I think he was out of the mix. Everybody wondered if he could come back the whole time he wasn't active. David Taylor was going and going and going and going. I saw David Taylor in the Ukraine do an amazing job. And I thought to myself, Cox is in trouble. This kid wants it bad. He's a lot like Dave. He's one of the best wrestlers ever. He wants a world championship. He wants an Olympic championship. So Cox profits by the fact that Taylor's there because Taylor pushed him in the world team trials like he's never been pushed and he rise he rose to the occasion and I believe he'll do it in Paris I'm looking for Cox to win it all breaking it down is Wayne Eric Boyd brought to you in part by our friends at Tight Mercury Wrestling Club of San Marino California look for him online at tmwc1.com Kyle Snyder another TMWC athlete and also an Olympic gold medalist He's got some guys in his weight class gunning for him right now, and they're not afraid of him. But he's a wall, and the wall doesn't move very easily. So Snyder is a force to reckon with. I don't care who he wrestles. The chances of them beating him are not good, but he is beatable. So he's got to perform. He can't get in a situation where he's on the side and he's winning by criteria and he thinks he can hold two inches and he gets pushed out. Guy scores last, criteria changes, and all of a sudden Snyder loses. He's got to be on top of it from the first second to the last second. Nobody knows that better than Kyle Snyder. He is on course to be the greatest American wrestler ever. Can he keep doing it? I think so. I'm looking at Snyder for gold. Interesting, too, that uh, you, Andy Barth, uh, Melina Wick, and everybody at Tight Mercury is putting all assets behind this young man. It's about the dream, but more than anything, we're seeing the effort. Kyle Snyder, one of the best. You're right. Nick Gwizdowski, the newcomer, relative newcomer on the international stage out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Tight Mercury Wrestling Club as well. He's our heavyweight. What can you say about the big man? He's improved. Well, no doubt about it, but like Gilman, and like our boy Rutherford, uh, he's a different cat. They don't know him. Uh, I took him to the Ukraine. He showed what he was made of. He gets better every day. He gets faster, he gets stronger. His technique gets better. He's improving, like you say. Uh, good chance he can get in there for a medal, bronze, silver. Uh, I don't see him quite ready to win it because there's some tremendous heavyweights out there that are just huge and strong. But uh, He's slick enough 
that he can fool anybody. You know, he gets low. He's got the outside single. He's he's good position. Uh, Royce Alger has worked with him more and more and more with the hand fighting and the head position. So Gwiz is in the hunt, and uh, he's the best America's got. So let's see what he can do. Uh, Titan Mercury is very proud of me. He pulled off the big win in the Ukraine for us to become the World Clubs Cup champions. And he beat a guy with six foot six, 285 pounds. And I got to tell you a story. You know, uh, Schneider lost. Schneider wins. We win the title. We're the team champions. Doesn't matter what Gwizdowski does. And we don't know Gwizdowski at that point. That was a year ago. We don't know him that well, but we got a lot of confidence in him. And Schneider loses. And I run back behind the curtain. And I, I'm crying. Tears are running out of my eyes. And I look at Gwiz and he's standing there like a mountain at like what just happened. And, and uh, he realized Snyder had lost. And I grabbed him by those big, beautiful cheeks of his. And I look right in his eyes and tears are running down my face. And I said, do you know, do you know what Snyder just did? And I won't say the word, but he looked at me and almost like he was didn't quite know what to say. And he said, uh, effed up. <laughs> and I said, no he just opened the door for you to be the hero and i slapped that boy on his ass and he <laughs> headed out there and he was ready to win it was the greatest win ever we went crazy in the ukraine crazy because nothing i like better than beating the iranians and the russians and the azerbaijans we beat them all I'm looking for the United States to be the world championship team champions. Bill Zadix at the helm. He's got Coleman Scott working hard with him. I think it's time for us to win again. So I wish those guys a lot of luck. I'm not going to be in Paris. I'm back here pushing trackwrestling.com. Not for money, not for any of that, because we have to have big numbers. So I'm looking for 10 to 15 to 20,000 buys on Thursday and Friday before it starts. And United States wrestling fans, that's what we need. I don't even care if you have a chance to see it, buy it, because we need the numbers. Because it's going to push our sport forward and we're going to become like golf or tennis, a sport. I just watched uh, an old U.S. Open in tennis. You know what the winner's? Paycheck was $1.8 million, a little girl from Australia, 27 years old. We have to start doing those kind of things. No, we're not going to give away $1.8 million, but wouldn't it be nice if we could? And there's only one thing that determines the value of media coverage. It's called spectators, fans, audience. You guys have our sport in your hands. And you have a great opportunity at $9.99 to do something. And if you don't do it, shame on you. I'm sad for you. I know you got a busy life and shit happens. But please, step up. Buy these world championships from trackwrestling.com. And I will continue to drive Titan Mercury and wrestling to the top of the mountain. Because we deserve to be there. Because our athletes are the greatest athletes in the world. They're not baseball players and football players. They're better than those guys. They're in better shape. They're more focused. They're more determined. Wrestling is the greatest sport in the world, and our fans don't let us down. I'm begging you, get out and buy this program. I'm Wayne Boyd from Titan Mercury Wrestling Club, and if you don't notice, I love the sport. And we love Wayne Eric Boyd. Wayne, thank you so much for the time up against the clock. I want to thank our friends at trackwrestling.com, also our friends at Titan Mercury Wrestling Club. Their website, one more time, is tmwc1.com. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper, thanking Wayne Boyd for joining me today. We look forward to talking to you again soon.